Okay, explaining things to doctors, part two. Um, after you've done what I explained in the first video, there are a few things that might come up or be helpful. Um, one is your medications uh, and treatment. Um, two is the treatment that they might prescribe, which is CBT and GET, which is Cognitive Behavioral Therapy and Graded Exercise Therapy. And three is the, the International Consensus Criteria for MECFS. So go over those. Um, in the first case, um, you can say there are drugs that are being used off-label that have research that are being used by clinics like Stanford. Um, I will list the links to those drugs below and some information about them. Um, with, uh, in the case of Abilify and low-dose Abilify and low-dose naltrexone, uh, there is research on MECFS that um, you can provide your doctor with. So there's that. Um, if they try to prescribe a graded exercise therapy or a cognitive behavioral therapy, um, here's what you say about graded exercise therapy. There was a study called the PACE study. This study was the gold standard in um, MECFS treatment for decades. Um, unfortunately, it has been proven to be deeply flawed. There was a lawsuit where the patients sued because they were called cured when they were not. Um, the study actually moved the goalposts for what counted as cured so that you could get worse through the study and they would register you as cured by their treatment. This is why the patients did the lawsuit and they finally won after five years. Um, and now the study has been debunked and um, the CDC and other authorities acknowledge that it was thoroughly problematic. And it's been actually taught in a couple of universities as an example of a problematic study. So there's that. Um, and that was the study that the basis of it was that it's all psychological and that by um, giving you cognitive behavioral therapy to convince you you aren't sick and graded exercise therapy to get back your tone or whatever, um, you would be cured. Well, now that we know, because of institutions like Stanford and Harvard and Columbia and others around the world, that it is a biological illness, it has been proven. Um, Stanford did a study um, where they deprived blood cells of oxygen in normal healthy blood cells and CFS blood cells. And in the MECFS blood cells, the cells did not recover after they were given oxygen again, and they did in the healthy cells. So that was a reproducible experiment. Unfortunately, it's not been made into a scalable MECFS test that is usable, but I will link it in the comments because it is actual biological proof. There are others. Um, it's been pretty, it's in the digestive system is different, um, everything. There's, there's, there's many uh, points of proof all over the body that MECFS is a biological thing. Um, active MRIs, um, analysis of the gut biome, various stuff. So there's that. Um, so if they say get or cognitive behavioral therapy to you, explain to them um, that this has been debunked. If they don't buy that, then get another doctor. Um, do not let yourself be treated with GET. It is dangerous. It will be harmful to you. Cognitive behavioral therapy can be helpful, but not cognitive behavioral therapy to convince you you aren't sick, the way the, the uh, PACE study does it. Cognitive behavioral therapy to help adjust to your current situation? Um, sure. As a, as a therapy, okay. But as a cure, no. Um, the, th the third thing is the international consensus criteria. It's done by a number of respected MECFS doctors around the world. Um, I will link it as well. It has um, lots and lots of symptoms, though not all of the symptoms I've run into myself. Um, and what I have done is gone into a doctor with a printout of that and then highlighted all my symptoms. Normally doctors get a little freaked out when you just list all your symptoms to them because they're like, well, this is a lot of symptoms. You must be crazy. And it's like, 
if you hand them the consent, the international consensus criteria with your symptoms highlighted, it's a very different message. You're, you're coming in with the authority of other doctors and confirming that you in fact have these symptoms. Much different reception. Um, you will get a much different reception for giving that. So that is my first two doctor's videos.